Welcome back. Investors on Wall Street took another big hit as stocks tumbled to their lowest level in nearly two months. The fact is huge quarterly losses from General Motors and the widening of a probe into mortgage selling. Now, the sell-off came on the same day that oil hit a new record high, setting the main indices deep into the red. The Dow lost over 2.5%. The Nasdaq dropped 2 and 3 quarters of 1%, and the S&P 500 fell almost 3% into the red. As the Dow slides, oil prices are heading higher. The price of a barrel of oil hit a record high of $98.62 on Wednesday. And here to explain what this all means for investors and in particular the U.S. economy is Ron Hart. He's a financial analyst at Citigroup Smith Barney and he joins us now from CNN Center. Hello there and tell us why are the U.S. markets trading off? It's been a tough uh, couple of weeks. All prices are trading up. There's a housing uh, market problem in the United States right now that'll take probably a six months to a year to see itself through. And there's a little bit of nervousness. The uh, markets have gone to new highs in, in our in the last quarter or so and uh, it's a very volatile market right now and um, people are a little bit worried but it's a natural correction we think it'll go to higher levels and um, usually when you buy on dips like this uh, 70 percent of the time you're better off three months later so we view it as a buying opportunity yeah there's a lot of market volatility right now but you're calling it a buying opportunity where's the opportunity well, we like United States big cap stocks, the S&P 500 type of companies. Uh, we find value there. They're trading at 15 times earnings, which historically is very good levels to buy stocks. Interest rates in the United States are hovering around the 4.5% level. Uh, the Fed has a lot more room to ease on rates. And they have a very important December 11th meeting coming up. Uh, and they should be uh, very accommodative in their, in their rates uh, as, they, as they lower them going forward. Now, I, I have to be a little bit skeptical because we're looking at the price of oil uh, nearing $100 a barrel, the U.S. dollar falling, um, the subprime crisis still spilling out into the market and affecting the big financial sector uh, players. Um, that not likely to, to end anytime soon. In the meantime, we're heading into the biggest retail spending season of the year, the holiday Christmas shopping season. Uh, are American consumers in the mood to spend given all this? Uh, the average consumer, certainly the Walmart type customer, will be tough uh, on them this Christmas. Uh, when oil goes up, the cost to fill up an SUV goes up in the United States, and the mid-level consumers clearly will be hurt a little bit in that regard. The market has a way over time, however, of kind of climbing the wall of misery, a wall of worry. Uh, there's always something out there that scares the markets. Uh, but long term, uh, if you own stocks in the United States, you get 10 to 11 percent return. Uh, we're comfortable owning them <clears throat> long term, and we view this as a buying opportunity given the trade-off. Will it go lower? Perhaps. Uh, there's certainly concern out there that, uh, that, that is unforeseen right now. There's an old saying in the United States, you don't know what you don't know. Uh, there's a concern about housing and how long that cycle will take. Uh, mortgages. Uh, in the United States in the old days, you would go down to your local banker and borrow money against your house. And if you had a problem with your house, you would go see your banker and you would work it out. In the last few years, there's been a lot of securitization of, of loans, and so you make a loan, you sell them, uh, someone else owns it. So no one really knows who owns your loan these days. There's no one to go work out your housing situation with other than these pools of loans. That is a rel relatively new phenomenon to America and something we're going to sort through this cycle. Uh, the housing cycle is a long cycle, no doubt. Uh, it'll take some time for us to uh, uh, get rid of the inventory that's been built this last uh, go around. But uh, for the first time in a long time, the housing uh, index was down 4% uh, off an all-time high. The, the U.S. Uh, housing index has never been down like that. So the prices will reach a level which people will be able to buy them. There will be auctions, I'm sure. Uh, we had it here. They had courthouse steps, sales of homes recently. And it's a natural cycle. It happened in 90, uh, 1990. It happened again in 94. And it's a, a typical cycle, and we're comfortable with the cycle. Yeah, well, thanks for that macro insight analysis for us, as well as the uh, tip to um, buy into big caps during this uh, period of volatility. Thank you very much, Ron Hart, financial analyst, joining us Appreciate from Atlanta. It.